Hi, in this video I will talk about interferons. As the name suggests, interferons are substances that interferes with some processes. In immunology, interferons mediate innate immune responses and especially interferons are very important for protections against viruses. So let's see what happens when a virus invades a cell. So here are some epithelial cells. Let's say a virus invades these epithelial cells. And after viral invasion, what would happen, virus would hijack the translational me mechanism of the cell and would translate its own viral protein. But once the viral proteins are made, the cellular degradation machineries like proteasome would degrade the viral proteins that would enter the ER and be loaded on class 1 MHC molecule. And the class 1 MHC molecule would display that viral peptide onto the cell surface. Now cellular defense mechanisms would detect that viral peptide. One such cell which can detect this viral, viral peptide is CD8 positive T cells or cytotoxic T cells. Cytotoxic T cells would produce specific enzymes known as granzymes and porphyrin which would ultimately lead to apoptosis of this viral infected cell and thereby protecting other cells to get invaded by the viruses. But before this cell dies, it sends out an alarming signal to the nearby cells. And this alarming signal is very important for other cells because it would prime other cells to produce some machineries or producing defense machineries which can combat against a viral invasion or which can prevent viral invasion or even if the virus invade, it can prevent viral propagation. So when the cell dies, before it, it sends the interferons. And the interferon-mediated signaling produce antiviral defense mechanisms which would prevent a viral assembly or viral propagation. So let's see, on the uninfected cell, there are interferon receptors. And the interferon receptors are normally tyrosine kinase associated with genus kinase. So jack dimerize upon interferon binding and jack phosphorylation would give rise to phosphorylation in stat. Phosphorylated stat, stat 1 and stat 2 can dimerize with each other and translocate to the nucleus and thereby giving rise to proteins which can help the cells to combat against viral infections. In other mode of interferon mediated signaling could occur in different way. It can also lead to phosphorylation of JAK, thereby dimerization of different type of STAT. STAT can either homodimerize or heterodimerize, giving rise to proteins which can give rise to viral which can give rise to protection against viral invasion. Now let's see what happens when uh, when interferon binds to the interferon receptor and the interferon signaling happens. So it can produce protein kinase R. One of these defense molecules are protein kinase R which can bind to viral DS DNA, DS RNA and stop translation of that RNA. Also protein kinase R can phosphorylate initiation factor 2 alpha which also lead to inhibition of the viral translation. So viral translation machineries could be interfered by the interferon mediated molecules. Second mode of defense is by 2,5 oligo A synthase which can put a mark on the mRNA that would be further degraded by RNA's L family, thereby again preventing the viral translation machinery, viral translation. And the third one is inhibition of the viral assembly. Let's say all the viral proteins are there, it is produced, but it needs to be assembled in a manner to produce a functional virus. And that process could be inhibited by MX proteins and MX protein can oligomerize and interfere with viral assemblies. So these are some possible ways by which interferon mediated downstream signaling can produce antiviral defense machineries and all these defense machineries can work together or individually to protect a cell from further viral infection but even if the virus can get in but it cannot propagate much more because its translation and assembly all these process could be interfered by interferon. In simple words, interfere interferes, interferons interferes with the viral assembly or viral 
viral life processes. That's how it can help the cell to create a defense against viral invasion. I hope you like this video and video is informative. In my next video, I will discuss about the different type of interferons. Okay, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe and share. Thank you.